Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we took on... Oh, what did we do? Um, we, uh, got the HM02 cut from, from the guy in uh, the Ox Forest, who are on the Farfetch'd. And we caught Paris, we, uh, before we did that, we actually bought Smat again. He had two Pokemon, a Ghastly, a Zubat, and a Quilava. We also hatched our Togepi, our egg into Togepi. And um, we showed Professor Elm, and we called them, and went all the way back to Newbuck Town and showed him. He gave us an Everstone. And, uh, we bought three more pearls, and I think, uh, so Broslo, uh, gained a couple more levels, I guess. And then, uh, maybe even Sanders, too. I have Sanders at front. I'm going to put a Pell on, actually. So, uh, yeah, I was, when I get to Golden Rod City, I'll probably sell the uh, Everstone and the. I may as well keep the Everstone on my PC. And then, uh, sell the Tiny Mushroom, I guess. Let's use our Pell. Wait. Post oh, it still lingers. Um, did I put a pill on or something beforehand? I don't remember when I put a pill on though. Jeez. Okay, whatever. Watch it just like, uh, you know, we're off really soon or something now. Okay, we want to just cut. I think this right here is where we catch Solby. I might as well. I'm, I think I'll cut, show how to catch Solby, but then, if I th then I think it's an event too, so I could be wrong. So Alex Forest Shrine. It's in honor of the Forest Protector, which is a Solby. Cool. I might show that. I might not. I don't know if we have to do like a event or a cheat code or something. Yeah, it's uh, this item here is where I attack. We'll also, sell that when you get to Golden City. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's make our way through that ox voice. Well, I'm gonna actually go back around to where you see that person right there. That person will give us the TM for a uh, headbutt. I think it's TM02 headbutt. We get an antidote right here. Awesome. Cool. These head these trees right here can headbutt using the TM. So yeah, here's another item. It is a plus effect off. Dang it. Okay, it's an ether. Awesome. Very worth picking up. So it's uh, let's put another pill on, I guess. Okay, so if I have Sanders in front, it will put Pokemon at level 10 and below. So hopefully there's no Pokemon like the level 11 to match the Sanders level. That would be the worst, right? <laughs> okay. Let's talk to you. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using Headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try too. We get TM02, which is Headbutt. I'm going to teach that to uh, Broslow. So yeah. You can buy more of these TM, the headbutt teams and go around city's department store, by the way. Or all trees of headbutt something, sleeping Pokemon, some, some sleeping Pokemon fall out. Yeah, that's where you can find like a uh, Heracross and a Weedle and a Butterfee even. And stuff like that, Caterpie, Pokemon like that. So let's teach headbutt to Slope Brussel, I guess you could say. So you got nice Brussel and headbutt, awesome. Although I'm not going to use a Heracross, I considered using a Heracross, but then I was actually going to use a Heracross on my team, but then I spent like over an hour in my practice file trying to find her because just hadn't been every tree I could, and I didn't have any luck with that really, so that kind of stinks. Don't sneak up on me like that. You're fr you frightened a Pokemon away. Okay. Cool. Here is a bug catcher, Wayne. And he's in the way bit later, but cool. Let's go Sanders then. Okay, let's use um scratch on this thing. Let's go attack on Sanders while I do 2 HP, cool. That's good for us. Scratch is about one third. Scratch um does about another one third. Cool. Supersonic, no. I don't like supersonic you confuse Sanders. Let's go for the next scratch. 50 50 shot here. Nope, of course not. Dang it. Let's just tackle on Sanders again. It's not very nice. I just want to faint you. That's all I want to do. Okay, let's see here. Nope, it hurts self confusion, of course. I could use a bitter berry here. In fact, I might actually. If, okay, yeah, I'm going to use a bitter berry. Three times in a row. Jeez. Let's go for the pack. Okay, let's see here. Um, where's my bitter berry? There go, nice. Cool. 
needs a healing item before I... Because I could get a critical hit here next turn, so... Here's a potion, honestly. There we go, nice. Okay, yeah, let's go for the next scratch then. This ladybug gave me a lot of trouble, apparently. Okay, uh, it even gave Sanders more trouble than it did me. <laughs> okay, so let's go for that. Oh, it's Paris, okay. Well, we're gonna, um, let's do the switcher trick, I guess. Because Paris could not, like, absorb or something. So I'm gonna just switch out then. Switch out to Brosal, I guess. All I could do is absorb on Brosal and be super effective because Brosal is half water type. But just use a scratch, okay, that's good. Let's see his headbutt that I'm gonna arrange moves real quick. There we go, nice headbutt. Okay, there we go, nice. It flinched awesome. Yeah, headbutt can have a chance of flinching, flinching the Pokemon. So that's good. But Catcher Wayne was afraid to cool. I hadn't seen that Pokemon before. Sorry, man. Next phone, 60 Pokeballs. Pokeballs. dollars. Yeah, I caught my Slowpoke in my Sanders. I was catching my Sanders in the Union Cave. And I catched my Slowpoke in the Slowpoke well. So here's a uh, route in my power off. I wanted, I wanted to see what this route was. I could just run the sign, but still. This is Route 34. Cool. Let's uh, take on. It looks like a youngster, I'm guessing. This is where I do my training. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, here's a youngster. Youngster Samuel would like the battle, okay. Here's the Rata, cool. It's level 7. Let's go for the Mud Slap on this thing. Yeah, okay, you guys quick attack, of course you are. Choose another. Let's choose another um, Mud Slap. Good thing. Uh, Till it failed there, so that's good. Nice. And this uh, rat tag goes down, awesome. Now send us a level 12, awesome. Sandshrew, <laughs> Sandshrew versus Sandshrew, I guess. Well, my percentage is level two levels higher, so that's good for us. Scratch attack, defense, cool. Okay. Now, Sandshrew evolves level twenty-two, I believe, into Sand Slash, but I'm actually not evolve it to like level twenty-three because Sandshrew um will learn Slash at level twenty-three, I think, and uh, that's a really good move. It says high critical hit ratio and stuff. Can we switch out? Honestly, let's go, bro, slow. Well. So yeah, if I if I just prevent it from evolving just one more level, and I'll level level twenty three and level tw instead of level twenty two, it will learn um slash out of earlier than when it will learn it as a sand slash. So that's my strategy there. So yeah. Okay, yeah, this, this stupid Sandras plus like four defense now, and it's also get good go hit. You know, this might take it. Yeah, let's get take another turn. Okay, whatever. Let's go for the tackle then. Oh my gosh, plus 5 defense, jeez. If you, if you let your opponent have that many, you know, defense boosts, it's gonna be a long battle once you get critical hit, really. Cause critical hits negate any, like, stat increases or losses, I should say. Increases or decreases. I'll stay in with the Slowpoke Spear, okay, cool. Spear's level 8, cool, let's get his peck on Spro slow. But, it's gonna go down, hopefully, in 2 turns, right? Oh, uh, maybe two turns. So there's a wheel on us. On Spro, so that's not very cool. One of my Slowpoke's defense. But yeah, they've got two, two turns. The, the spear goes down awesome. He has one more Pokemon. It's a spear. Okay. We might as well keep Brosol in, you know, because Brosol's really having great luck here, you know. The spear is also level 8, so hopefully it goes down two head, with two headbutts. I used Tackle by mistake. Oh, man. I, I meant to use Headbutt. Jeez. I didn't even notice that. Wow. May have, may have fainted the last bear with two tackles, I don't even remember. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's bros, <laughs> headbutt takes out one hit, so yeah, probably two tackles then for the last spear. Second to last spear, I guess you say. Beaten by a passing trainer, stranger, thanks for the 120 Pokedoss. I guess you did get beaten by me. So this guy has a snubble. It's like level 14 though, so watch out, because 
It's pretty power. It's pretty high level, honestly. Um, I got back my Pokemon from the daycare. Let's see how much it's stronger it got. I think it, I may have misread the last part. How much stronger it got, or how much stronger it is now, or something like that. Okay, it's Pokemon Brandon, I believe is his name. Okay, let's go for this. Yeah, it's level, it's level 13. I thought it was gonna be level 14. So let's switch to, uh, let's switch to Megan, because Megan hasn't had screen time in the last couple parts. <laughs> yeah. Let's just try and which lowers Megan's attack. Dang it, okay. I'll, I don't know if Razor Leaf is. I didn't mean he's poised power, dang it. I don't know if Razor Leaf's physical or, um, special, honestly. <laughs> In this game, I think it might be special, honestly. That's my guess, at least. It's just tail up, but it failed. Cool. It's gonna use a uh, berry, so it's gonna destroy HP. Okay, whatever. It's just another razor leaf on this thing. One more razor leaf on this thing should do it. Actually, we, we can probably find it with a different move, honestly. Okay, yeah, it's gonna lower Megan's uh, defense there. Let's tackle. There we go, nice. Takes it out, awesome. Pokemon Brandon was defeated, cool. Why does it have to end this way? I'm sorry, man. Thanks for 1,004 Poké Dollars. <laughs> he seems so sad. I'm sorry, man. Here's a uh, picnicker in here. Oh my goodness, wild encounter. Okay, that was a Jigglypuff there, so that's cool. Are you a trainer? Um, let's have a practice battle, okay? So I think this picnicker has like. Three grass type Pokemon and one's a Bulbasaur. Yeah, three Pokemon, Picnicker, Erica, or Gina, I mean. I saw their name, jeez. Okay, here's a Hoppit. Cool, it's level 9. Um, I think uh, Sanders will be able to take this thing down. So let's go with the Scratch Attack. I could heal, but I want to see how much the Scratch does. And what move. Okay, yeah. Tail of Mist or Failed, cool. Let's go for a Scratch Attack. One more Scratch Attack after this should do it. Let's get a Splash, okay. With uh, Sanders' this levels higher, this hop at this hop is level 9 female. So that's good. Take it out. Awesome. Sanders. I should say Sanders takes it out. Nice. And another hop at. Cool. So she probably has two hoppets and a bulbas with them. This hop is also level 9. Let's go for the scratch attack. Let's get a splash. Okay. But nothing happened. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh no, that's not cool because it was Sanders defense. Stay stabbed by one stage. But there we go, the hopper goes down. Awesome. Sanders in level 13. Awesome. Bulbs, okay, well, I'm gonna do the switch real quick here. Because Bulbs are probably not always Vine Whip at this point. It's level 12, yeah, probably not Vine Whip. Okay, so let's go with, um. I guess we can go with. Let's go with Blaze, honestly. Attack, okay. Let's go for the Ember attack. It's gonna be super effective. It's about it puts in the reds at least. Yeah, I know it, 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 it doesn't have bite, but cool. Let's finish off with a bite. Hopefully, we can finish it off. Nice. Cool. Picnic Eugene was defeated. Okay, cool. Oh no, I just can't win. Sorry, thanks for 24 Pocket Dollars. There's another trainer right here. I, I'm i the best in my class at Pokemon. That's good to know. Congrats, man. Congrats. Youngster Ian would like the battle. Cool. Yeah, the Mankey. Cool. That's just great, man. How much does the Mutts up to? About one third. Okay, we're gonna try another mud slap. Where but it failed. Okay, try to use a little but it failed. Good. That's good for us. One more mud slap should do it. Just scratch on us. On Sanders, I should say. Mud slap hits that time. Awesome. Like it did the past two times. Takes out the manky. Awesome. Dick luck. Okay, we're gonna do this with your trick here. Let's go for the for Megan, I guess, because uh, Megan has Razor Leaf, and it's gonna be super effective. Then, haha. Let's go for the Razor Leaf here. Yeah, nice. 
magnet here, magnet to 10. Oh geez, let's hope that hopefully this doesn't do too much. Okay, good, it's not very effective. Good, that's good for us. Nice, this, this thing got level 12 in female, I should say. Yeah. Youngster Ian was defeated. No, there are better trainers. Sorry, man. Thanks for the energy. Book it always. Now we can get an odd egg here from one of these uh, daycare people. I'm the daycare man. Do you know about eggs? Uh, I'm raising a Pokemon with my wife, you see. We were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Well, why don't you like this egg? That's fine. Thank you. Just to keep. You don't have them for this. Okay, of course. Good thing there's a PC right here. Got a Bill's PC. Deposit Pokemon. Uh, let's deposit uh, Paris for a second. Actually, we can. We don't need Paris anymore because yeah, because well, right now we because we don't need to cut down any trees or anything. Let's talk to you first too, before we take that. Egg. I'm the decorator. You know about eggs? My husband is raising some Pokemon. You see, we were shocked to find an egg. How incredible would that be? Should I raise a Pokemon for you? Nah, I'm good. Come again. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let's talk to this guy again. He, he will give us an egg. It's uh, an odd egg, I believe is what, what the name is. And it can evolve, it can not evolve, but uh, hatch into like a smooth gym, which is a beautiful form of Jinx, and, which is a psychic and like, ice type Pokemon that Lola uses in Gen 1, and in Gen 3 and Fire and Leaf Green. So yeah. And then there it can also evolve into Magmi, Magby, which is uh, the pre-evolved form of Magmar, Elekid, which is the pre-evolved form of Electabuzz, and uh, Pichu, the pre-evolved form of uh, Pikachu. So yeah, my my playthrough, um, my Pokemon, uh, my playthrough that I did in Crystal for my 3DS version for the eShop one, Virtual Console, I got I hatched the egg into Pichu. I was considering using it on my team, but then I couldn't raise its happiness enough to. Have a, to um, evolve into Pikachu or something, so uh, yeah, that kind of stinks. I think there's also another reason why I didn't just didn't decide to use Pichu, but uh, yeah, I got Pichu, but it's like I think it's completely random. You can battle this security guard, a police officer, at night, which is pretty cool. I'm on patrol for suspicious individuals. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take on the, this is the last train of the route actually. So who'd have a friend again? I think I still have Sanders. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. I'm confident in my ability to race Pokemon. Want to see? Sure, why not? Can't pretend I like the battle. Cool. Now we have Sanders. So again, we'll probably go to Megan because Megan has Razor Leaf, which is super fit against the Psyduck because Psyduck is a war type. So yeah, oh, and Megan's almost. It's level 17, awesome. Let's use another Razor Leaf on this thing, or a Razor Leaf on this thing. It's gonna be super effective. The Psyduck's level 14 in mail. Goes down one hit, awesome. Yeah, making good level 17, awesome. Get Brita was defeated, cool. Just grip with my. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center. Okay, so I'm going to, the, to go to the department store to get a few things. So, uh, I don't, I'm going to go for the TMs and HMs for where they, oh no, where they sell TMs, actually, they don't sell HMs, but they sell TMs. So I think it's like the last four right here, it's this one, I believe. So I'm going to sell right here, I'm going to sell a couple of things. I'm going to sell, um, Dex Attack. The Tiny Mushroom. And I'm gonna put the ether on the Evisheron on my PC the next time I get the chance. And that's really about it for that cell one. Okay. Let's buy, um, let's buy, um, one more H, uh, Headbutt TM. And we need an Icy Punch one, Ice Punch. Uh, this one's, uh, this uh, TM41 is Thunder Punch, TM48 is Fire Punch, TM33 is Ice Punch. So yeah, we cost freezing. Okay, so let's buy one of those. It's three thousand poker dollars, which is kind of breaking the bank here, but I'll make up the money for it later, honestly. Because uh, Slowpoke learns uh, can learn Ice Punch by TM, but Slowpoke can't learn Ice Punch by TM, so I have to wait till my Slowpoke evolves into Slowpoke to teach it Ice Punch. 
which is kind of a long way because I think I've always liked level 37, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually, you know. So, yeah. So, I have, okay, yeah. Sanders, okay, cool. Let's, I'm gonna go, um, put, deposit my Everstone and my Ether into my PC. So, I'll be right back. Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys how to get that bicycle in the game. So, yeah. You have to go down here, I think. And it's kind of, like, hidden where they put the bike shop. But they put it there for, it's, like, hidden for a reason. But, we'll basically borrow a bicycle for now. But then later, after a certain amount of steps, I think, uh, he will, um, let you keep the bicycle. Because, you know... Yeah, I've we've been advertising for him by riding it around and stuff. So like he's like, oh, keep the bicycle, sells it through the roof and everything. I even call you. So the world is a is a, pa a psychopath, psychopath. It kind of sounds like psychopath. He's bike shop, cool. Yeah, let's talk to him. So I, I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise it for me? Yes, of course. Really great. Give me your name and a phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. Steven borrowed a bicycle, or we borrowed a bicycle. Cool. Put in the key pocket. My bicycles are first rate. You, um, can ride them anywhere. That's cool. Except for indoors, you know, that, you know, we can't ride them indoors, though. So, if you go to your key items pocket, you can actually register an item for the select button. I only have one key item, honestly, for right now at least. You gotta select and then, uh, register the bicycle, which means when you press select, in my case Z on my game controller right now, you can hop on your bicycle and it's like a shortcut without having to go to the menu. So it's pretty cool, you can ride it around, it's pretty fun. I like the bicycle music, honestly, it's a lot, it seems like a fun time. And, uh, let's go to the underground, actually, next. So it's here, right here. Let's talk to you. I was challenged to battle down uh, stairs. I, it was rough down there. You'd be a pretty be careful. I'll be careful as a fly. I don't know. That's probably not even saying. Okay, so I have Sanders at front. Cool. Nice. Okay. Spooky music. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. Okay. Fine. I'll show you. So here's a Pokemaniac. There's Pokemaniac Donnelly, has two Pokemon, cool. He has a Slowpoke, nice. Now, I'm pretty sure the Slowpoke doesn't know Water Gun yet, so that's good. Because I don't know if one more switch will actually faint it though. Okay, it does awesome, cool. I should stop doubting myself. There we go, nice. Pokemaniac Donnelly's about to send Slowpoke, cool. Let's, well, you know, keep Sanders in. There you go, nice. We feel Pokemon Egg Donald, yes, okay. God, I lost, that makes me mad. Sorry, man, thanks for this, because we're always. Let's take you on next, I guess. Do you consider uh, tr type align alignments in battle? If you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. Cool. I guess you're right. Magnemite again. This one's probably like a level 11 to I guess. If it's going up by two, is like this one's also, this one just level seven like the first one. Cool. Here we go, critical. I'll take it. And in the a Voltorb. Okay, switching it up here. Nice. This Voltorb is probably like level seven if I were to guess. It's level eleven. Okay, whatever. Let's get a screech on uh, Sanders. Okay. Cool. That does a little half awesome. Let's finish off with another Mudslap though. Tackle miss, that's good. For us. And the Voltub goes down, awesome. Yeah, cool. We defeated Super Noob Taru. I have to your dog, I'm sorry. Thanks for the 200 day Pokedoss though. If we go over here, this door right here is gonna be locked. So yeah, the door is locked. We'll, we'll get to that later. Or oh, bag of my dry erase markers on my desk. I fell. So if you heard that noise, it was dry erase markers and a plastic baggie falling and hitting my backpack. That's under my desk. One of my backpacks under my desk. So yeah, let's switch um, Sanders and Broso then. Wait, uh, look. Sanders, uh, Broso is level 14. Sanders is level 15. Oliver is level 16. Megan is level uh, 17. And then Blaze is level 16 as well. Okay, let's switch Blaze and Megan then. Just uh, like at least uh, lowest level the highest level, I guess. Also, we should reach the, uh, we should be um with some stat on the um on the um 
Pokemon egg. Wonder what's inside. It means more time though. So there's a different uh, entry or stat um, thing than uh, the Togepi egg did. Because the Togepi egg was pretty much ready to hatch almost. So here's the spa. Welcome. I run the Pokemon Salon. Okay, so it's a Salon. Okay. Uh, if it, I'm the older of the two. I'm, I'm older and better of the two haircut brothers. Awesome. I can make your Pokemon beautiful for just $500. Would you like me to do that? No, not for now. Is that right? That's a shame. I'll come back to you later. This will actually be really important uh, for Pokemon you get later on. Like you get an Eevee. And if you want to evolve into Umbreon or Espeon, it, evol it, evol it evolves by happiness of winning trainer battles. I don't think it does wins happiness that much from winning from Pokemon battles. I went into my like practice to play through. Like my Eevee was still like a level four, was like a level 42 and it still wasn't evolved into the Espeon at the time when I wanted to evolve at Espeon when I even trained it during the day. But I don't think what Pokemon Battles raise its happiness that much, if not at all. But um, if you want to train a Battles with your uh, Eevee and trying to like train it up during the day or night, day during, or morning, it's uh, if you train it up during the morning, you get Espeon and if you train it up during the night time, you get an Umbreon, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, so... And also, you don't want to let it faint ever because that lowers its happiness. But this will actually make it so where you can like make it look, ha make it happier, you know, and stuff. So that's fun. Yeah. Hello, dear. I sell inexpen inexpensive herbal medicine. They're good, but a tiffle bit, bit, bit bitter. You Pokemon not like them. Hee. <laughs> okay, so these will these are really good deals on like um I think this was like back in uh I remember third generation in f in Lavage Town. The herb shop or whatever. Th these are like really discounted um items that can like a. This is equivalent to super potion because heals 50 HP. This is equivalent to like a hyper potion because heals 200 HP. This is equivalent to um a full heal, and they're cheap as you see. But then and the rival herb fully revives a fainted Pokemon, but it's better. So if you're trying to like raise a Pokemon like a Golbat into a Crobat that levels by happiness or Umbreon or uh, Eevee levels in either Umbreon or Espeon don't feed them these uh, don't give them these items because of low happiness because they're better but that's a good deal if you're trying to uh, save money and you don't want to uh, and you're just um, looking for a good deal I guess for um, healing items I guess we got a coin case nice so we can go to the game corner now awesome so yeah my Pokemon just got a haircut I'll show you how strong it is okay well, I'm not sure if like getting a haircut on your with your Pokemon is um exactly gonna make it stronger, but whatever. Look at that. Okay, cool. That was a close battle, honestly. Yeah, but Bristol gets um 30, over 300 experience. That's awesome. He's trying to win Water Gun. Awesome. Yes, I would love Bristol to win Water Gun. Nice. Which we should be forgotten. Let's go to Growl. And two and poof, uh, Bristol forgot Growl and Bristol and Water Gun. Nice. We defeated Pokemonic Isaac. Cool. Aye. Thanks for the 720 Poké dollars, man. And here's the last trainer right here. This is pretty cool. I got booted out of the game corner. Um, I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess that's why you got kicked out. because you're cheating. But yeah. Okay. So this is Super Nerd Eric. Well, he wants the battle. Cool. It's good for the Grimer. Okay, he has a Grimer. Nice. So level 11. Sanders do a scratch on this thing. Hopefully it'll faint it. There we go. Nice. Cool. Grimer. Okay, let's switch back to uh, Brosel, I guess. Super Nerd Eric was defeated. Grumble. <laughs> Thanks for the 352 exp $52. I'm pretty sure 52 Poké Dollars. So yeah, um, you know, Sanders is still poisoned, so that kind of thing. So I'm gonna just heal my up the Pokemon Center, really. Those are some shops downstairs, but they are also trainers. I'm scared to go down there, I'm sorry. I just went down there, they kind of beat up on my two, two of my Pokemon, really. So let's make our way back. This is the game corner, by the way. Your playground. Go to the game corner. I guess we can show it off right here. Oh man, I should heal my Pokemon first. I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so, uh... Let's go to the game corner next. It's probably the last thing I'm covering in this last, in this part though. I'm already at the over 34 minutes on recording time. I cannot win at the slots. I blew it on a flipping card flipping. I'm going I'm going to as I tossed out my coin case in the other ground. I found it actually. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I think one of these people give you um coins, I guess. I top wizard in my Pokemon. It was hard to get enough coins for it, but it was worth it. That's actually kinda worth it to get Blizzard, but Spending a lot of time in the game corner buying all the coins. 
Uh, okay, so 50 coins for a thousand poker dollars and 500 coins for 10,000 poker dollars. I don't even have 10,000 poker dollars. You know, I, I, I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on coins. I probably won't eat. I'll probably only use them one sitting. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to hope that some people give us just coins for free. I won't quit until I win. Okay. That's good mindset, I guess, in that case. I just love this new slot machine. It's more a challenge than the ones in Celadon. Okay, that, we'll get to that later. The Celadon is actually Kanto City. Yeah, okay, life is a gamble. I'm going to flip cards till I drop. Okay. Um, card flip. I prefer it over the slots because it's easy to figure out the odds. But it, the payout is much lower. That's interesting and true, I guess. Waha, wow, the coins keep rolling in. So no one gives me coins? I thought one person would give us, always give me 10 coins. And here you can like buy stuff, uh, buy stuff with the coins. Yeah, let's see, we can get TM25, which I think is Thunder, TM14, which I think is Blizzard, and TM30, which is Fire Blast. All for, fi for, for 5,500 coins. Okay. Welcome. We exchange your coins. Okay, yeah, uh, maybe this is Pokemon actually. So you can get an Abra for 400 coins, a Cubone for 800 coins, a Wobbuffet for, for 1,500 coins. It's kind of cool that you can get Cubone. Yeah. That is only 100 coins if you don't want to spend time trying to catch it and winning. Just teleport as soon as you can get in battle. So yeah, I can actually find... Uh, I think you can find Abra's on that 34 which we covered I think in the last part. Maybe even in this part, I forget. This part's been so long, you know. Um, I'll buy... Uh, 1,000 coins, 50, fine, whatever. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to show this off real quick. Um, bet how many coins? Let's bet three. Because I think that's all of the rows and diagonals and stuff. Nope, darn. Play again, yes. Bet the coins again. I'm going on, guys. Nope, I was almost lucky with the cherries. I'm really bad at the slots, as you can see. I'm three. I'm over three right now. <laughs> And I've already used 9 coins. So it's just about 2 this time. So it only does the middle rows issue right there. I go with the light up with the, um, if it's like black, it means you can't win in that row or whatever. Um, you can't win that like, diagonally, but if it's like red, you can win that way in rows. Aw, oh, so close to mention all the Pikachus. Let's only bet 1 coin this time. So only the middle row away for 1 coin is what it means right there, I'm pretty sure. Let's, uh, bet the coins again. I'm really bad at the slots, that's why I end up always just buying the coins from uh, the counters and stuff and then, because I'm just really bad at the Pokemon slot games and Pokemon games, so uh, don't expect anything great from me honestly, because I'm just, I'm I'm terrible at the slots. I think I'm all like, I'm all for 6, all for, set, all for 5 I think right about this point, I kind of lost track. I'll put a textual way to tell me how many, tell you guys how many, how all for whatever I am, probably all for 7 now. I'm gonna play one more time. I'm gonna bet three more coins. I'm gonna. Uh, I, I might. I might show like a bonus video of me just failing at the slots with my 26 of coins remaining. But I don't know. I have to. Ooh, I must. Uh, let's get diagonal sevens. See if I can time this right. No, oh, I was so close to matching that. Oh man. Are those golems? Those look like golems. Oh, they help you out, I guess. If you get. If you like really close. Darn. Play again. Nope. I'm not gonna play again. Yeah, the sad music of just like, you know, quitting and just like walking, I guess. Walking away from the machine. So, um, yeah, I think I covered everything I wanted in Gold Red City so far. There's actually a couple more things we can cover in Gold Red City later on in the game. But for right now, I'm good for now. Let's see, my Pokemon, okay, so, so Bros is level 15, Cinder is level 15, uh, B Blaze and Oliver level 16, and Megan's level 17. So what I'm gonna do... And I'm actually gonna train all my Pokemon up to level. All of evolves level like level 20, I think. I'm gonna have to check out my all the levels, but I think all of evolves level 20. So I think I'm only gonna train all my all my Pokemon up to level 19 for right now. That seems like a good number. So, but next time we're gonna take on the Golden City Pokemon Gym and the Gym Leader Whitney. They use um, there's like four or five trainers in there. I think they use normal type Pokemon. So if you're fighting type Pokemon, like what I did in my Pokemon Crystal playthrough of my 3DS version for the 3DS eShop, um, what Virtual Console was I um actually traded um I think it was an Abra for a Machop. I think it's a 
I think it's I think it's a drowsy for my chop and like gold and silver. But in crystal, I think you want to trade. You have to trade an Abra for uh, his Machop, and its nickname is like Muscles or something. It comes at like level 15. Or, yeah, I think the same level as you as you traded your um Abra. So yeah, I caught Abra um on the first try with the Great Ball, which is really cool. So that's really cool. And I used uh a Machamp throughout the game, and it was a really good Fighting type Pokemon. But I don't really have any Fighting type moves really, so that kind of stinks. So I'm gonna have to rely on my uh Sim type Jack bonus away moves for the most part. So yeah, next time you'll see my Pokemon, they'll all be level, um, 19. So yeah, so this has been Giant Go again. I would like to mention again goodbye. And I'll see you guys next time on my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide.